when we talked about mutate in the last class, we talked about how mutate is useful for assigning new values to a column or creating new columns. But sometimes you want to create or assign a specific value uh, to a column based on a condition. So for example, let's say you want to make a column that contains the age category. So let's first, you know, library in tidyverse, library in the Haven package, and read in the 2013-2014 NHANES data, uh, which we've dealt with earlier in class. Now, if we wanted to create a column that contained the age category, where values of greater than or equal to 18 were coded as an adult, and values of less than 18 were coded as child, the way we would do that in mutate is combining the mutate function with the if else function. So here we would say nhanes data equals nhanes data, then mutate age category equals if else. The first argument is the condition, which is uh, age is greater than or equal to 18. And the first, the second argument is what to do if the condition is true, and that's the value that will get assigned. And the third argument is what to assign if the condition is false. So if the age is greater than or equal to 18, the value of the age category variable will be adult, and otherwise it'll be child. Here you'll notice that I said nhanes equals, or rather nhanes data equals nhanes data and then pipe. And the equals is really just saying that I'm actually going to overwrite the nhanes data and add this variable so that if I later want to access this variable, the variable has not only been created, it's been stored, and the nhanes data data frame has been updated. What if you wanted to create an age category variable where there's more than two possible categories? When there's only two categories, the if else function is pretty readable and tends to work the way you expect. However, if you have more than two categories, the if else function can occasionally give you results that you didn't expect. And so in this situation, the case when uh, function is preferred. The case when function works fairly similarly to the if else function with one or two key differences. The first difference is that instead of separating the condition uh, and what to do if that condition is true by a comma, the way you do in an if else function, you actually separate it with a tilde, which can be found next to the one on your keyboard. Next, you'll notice that there's multiple conditions. And so, in fact, in a case when function, each argument is a condition, tilde, and then the assignment for what to assign when that situation or when that condition is true. In this case, the way to read this is age category should be checked for its values. And when age is greater than or equal to 18, assign the uh, character adult to the age category. When age is greater than or equal to 12, assign adolescent to the age category. And when basically none of the above conditions are true, uh, we always have the value of true as the last condition. So that means it'll always kind of fire um, because it's just true, assign child. So if someone's above eight, uh, eight, greater than or equal to 18, the value for age category will be adult. If they're greater than or equal to 12, the value will be adolescent. And if none of the above are true, then the value will be child. And although I use only one variable in the logic here for case when, you can imagine that you can separate different pieces of logic with either an ampersand for and or a vertical pipe for or. Um, and so the logic can be a lot more complicated than what's displayed here. You might also be wondering, if someone's 19, according to this logic, aren't they an adult and an adolescent? Because, you know, even for adolescent, their age is greater than or equal to 12. The key thing here, which I included in the note right next to the case when, is that you always want to make sure your conditions go from most specific to least specific. In other words, the value that will be assigned to the age category is the value for the very first condition that gets met. So in the case of someone who's 19, 
the first condition of age greater than or equal to 18 is met. And so they're automatically assigned as an adult. And then kind of, you know, the uh, logic moves on to the next person. So if you're 19, you won't be classified as an adult and an adolescent. You'll only be classified as an adult. Um, and then, you know, the mutate function will move on to the next person. So you always want to make sure the conditions are listed from most specific to least specific. And if you're paranoid, you can always, you know, you could have made that second condition as age greater than or equal to 12 and age less than 18, just to make sure you don't end up in a situation uh, where you're not sure what to expect and get incorrect results.